Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me, I'm gonna do some chit chatting, um, discuss discuss the month of June. And I just thought I'd chit chat while we decorate um, my June dailies. So for the daily spreads, because they're usually very like busy, like this one for example, like I just have a lot of work stuff. I just track a lot of work, work stuff. <laughs> Um, so I usually just kind of like toss in a lot of stickers all at once Nothing super clean or special since I never look back at the pages anyway um, There are times where I do want to Do like nice daily spreads, but at the same time they just get ruined and bombarded with work notes and stuff that it's like And I know I'm never gonna look back at them So it's not always like nice and pretty and neat or anything there are so many beautiful spreads that i see like on instagram and everything and uh, i just get so jealous because i wish i could make such pretty spreads but i honestly just don't have time <clears throat> so i just do whatever like works for me <clears throat> Ugh, my voice is just so annoying so today is tuesday and you guys, I'm just always so busy. Everything is just so crazy and I just don't have a break. I know I complain about this pretty often in a lot of my videos, um, but like it's getting to the point where I just don't know what to do. And there's so many things that I do, like I want to do, but I feel like I can't do them because I'll just overwhelm myself with everything. But whatever, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, for June, our theme is gonna be Chibi Moon. I don't really have a lot of stickers of her. I only have like these two, but I did find like these other ones and the cats really get introduced in the show and the manga when she comes into play anyway. So I just thought I'd just combine her with the kitties and I'm really excited. I found Chibi Moon rather um, annoying especially when her character is first introduced in the series um and then when she becomes evil she's like in love with her father and i just found all of that really weird like i know it's not really supposed to be like her when she's evil but like it's just still kind of weird but when i say in love with her dad like like in love with her dad you guys in love with her dad <laughs> <clears throat> not daddy daughter love yeah and he just finds it all weird but he kind of i believe he like goes along with it for just like a tiny bit just so he could save sailor moon who is the love of his life and blah 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 but yeah it's a little odd um and i don't know about you guys but i haven't seen the new sailor moon remake show i've only seen the original movies and I've seen some episodes. I just can't get through the show because Sailor Moon is so annoying that I just can't get past her <laughs> annoyingness. But let me know if you guys watched the show. And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? Because I am curious what people think about it. If you watched the new one or if you watched the original one, let me know. I just prefer the movies. I think they were well done and they should have like a better re representation of her i believe i know there was a time where disney really wanted to do a, the tv show i think but the creator of sailor moon doesn't ever want to work with disney apparently at least that's what i've read it's kind of crazy yeah i'm using a lot of these like sakura stickers because chibi moon loves pink and her hair is pink so I thought that'd be a good combo. Just making like a collage as usual. Uh, so this morning I was looking through my budget stuff just to see how June is gonna look like. And hopefully you guys, I will be credit card debt free in the month of June. <laughs> that is the goal and it looks like it's possible. And then I can just focus on my loans and my savings account from now on. Hopefully, that is the goal. 
Oh, also, when I filmed my June monthly spread, I stated that I won't, I didn't reach my goal of 150 subscribers for this channel, but I actually did recently. I think it was like yesterday I surpassed that. So I need to go ahead and change that goal for my monthly, um, for a monthly goal <laughs> for June. So I guess we'll just go with 260. Or am I just, wait, am I kind of like not saying the same right thing? Hold on, let's look in here. Oh, so my goal was 260 for the month of May. And we're at like 250 something. So never mind, scratch everything I said. But we are getting there. Like, I'm really excited. Thank you so much. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. It means, it seriously means a lot to me. It means a lot for us small YouTube channels where we get like literally like one subscriber. It, it's like the best feeling in the whole world. I get so happy and then I have to like tell everyone. I literally like, sometimes I'll Snapchat my sister like, oh my God, I gained a subscriber. And she's like, good job. Yeah, but it really does make my day seeing that number go up. It really does. So if you want to join my cute little um, journaling squad here, please subscribe and welcome. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a problem with butterflies. I'm like addicted to them. I just love the stickers and I think they're pretty. They're so ugly when they're like up in your face. No, seriously, butterflies are so freaking ugly when they're up in your face. But when they, you know, fly around, they're, they're just so pretty, like all the different colors and stuff. It's so nice. I'm gonna put them with the tune right there. So there's my little collage. It's like all over the place, but you know what? I really like it. Collages are so fun to make. So I highly recommend you do it if you want to. So for the daily spreads, I have a bunch of stickers, like all of these stickers and I don't like them. So I kind of want to just use them up, you know? So I have these, I'm going to use these up first. They're like these maps or something. Um, use those up maybe with that. And I have like these furniture stickers, which I don't really like very much either. I have these airplane stickers. It's not my thing. And then I have snails. That's right, you guys, I have snails. So, oh, these are really pretty. So I think the pretty ones I'm gonna set aside so I could save those for like weekly spreads. And then like the ones I think are like ugly and I don't really care for, um, I'll go ahead and save them for like weekly spreads or something. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this first. I have this washi. Oh, it's actually finished. Wow, this one is actually done. I can't even use this because it's not even sticky. Wow. I love it when I finish things up, like when things are used up and done. Like it's so nice, so nice. So I have this other washi right here. I just think it's kind of like ugly. It makes me think of like clowns. So I thought I'd just use it up maybe in this video. And I have these map stickers. I just don't really have anywhere to ever really use them. So I thought it'd be a good idea to just use them in my daily spreads. Um, they are kind of cool looking. There. And then I have like these like stained glass window stickers. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to just put them here as well use up a few of these okay I think for the rest of it, the video I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover and just speed through this because it usually usually is a process so let's go ahead and do that so I thought for the rest of this video, I'll just talk about some of the things that are coming up in the month of June. For the first week of June, I don't have much planned except for uploading and editing videos. I did end up paying off three credit cards and today is the first day of June, you guys. 
happy June. Um, but today I did pay off three credit cards. I paid off my Kohl's card, my TJ Maxx card, and my Chase card. All three of those had a balance of under $200. Um, not as a total, but, but like each one. And I thought, you know, I got paid today. I mean, yesterday. So let's go ahead and pay off these cards so I don't have to use them and stress about it. And that's what I did. And I'm so happy. And then over the weekend, I'm going to a fan expo. And I'm so excited. It's been a long time since I've been to a convention. I'm a little um, nervous because a lot of large crowded areas really freak me out now. But thanks to COVID and everything. Um, but I think it'll go well. I don't know. We'll see. And then my brother-in-law's birthday is on Monday on the 5th. So I hope we can maybe meet up for a nice birthday dinner or something. Um... For the rest of the month, I'm going to try and pay off my last credit card, which is my American Express card. So hopefully I can do that. Actually, I also have my Amazon card. That one has a bit of a balance. But my goal for the month of June is to pay off the American Express card and my Amazon card. And I think I could do it, you guys. I think I can. Let's manifest that Christina can pay off her credit card debt and be credit card debt free for the month by the end of the month of June. I also hope... Um, my channels will grow, my accounts will grow because I love it when that number goes up and I can chat with you guys and talk to you guys, especially about books and everything. And it just means so much to me when everybody subscribes. Um, also for this month, there's isn't really other things going on except for like Father's Day, we might be going to the zoo. It's gonna be my daughter's maybe, I think her first or second time ever going to the zoo. And also my husband's birthday is this month. So we're going to be celebrating that. I have no idea what he wants to do. It's his day. Um, oh, forgot. Also, we're doing a little mini family trip. We're going to Canada at the end of the month. And I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. And it's going to be my daughter's first time out of the country. So that's going to be very interesting. I can't wait. I love Canada. Well, the places I've been have been amazing. So I'm really excited to go there again this year. I really hope we can do another family trip sometime this year. I'd love to visit Europe. It's been 10 years since I've been to Europe and I think it's time. My husband has never been to Europe so it would be amazing to take him along and show him places and stuff like that. So hopefully we can manifest some nice family trips. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!